Hey guys! Remember my last video where I ate all those Filipino snacks I found here in China that gave me a really upset stomach? Well, I'm back with another video and another set of Filipino snacks. By the way, my name is Shar. I have more. It's my mom's favorite, the popcorn, the caramel popcorn one. She loved this very much. I remember when I was in grade five up to like high school, I remember going to the supermarket and uh, she would like ask me to pick up one thing from the supermarket and I'll get the french fry thing, french fry from Oishi also, and she would get this, the popcorn, caramel popcorn. Okay, um, same, same packaging and everything, but It smells like popcorn. Huh? No, I'm <laughs> sorry. It smells like caramel. Okay. Uh, seems to look like what we have in the Philippines. I used to eat it like this, like a bunch, and inside my mouth. Mm. Again, it's not as sweet as what we have in the Philippines. It's it's sweet, but like what we have in the Philippines, like sweetness level is out of 10, well, 7, and here it's kind of like a 4. This is like a 4 out of 10 overall in the sweetness factor, but it smells the same. Just the sweetness is very different. Uh, it looks the same, same crunch and everything, just the sweetness. Um, I have like 4 more. Ah. Oh, what I have next uh, brings back a lot of memories. I remember when I was in grade school, like grade grade 4 or grade 5 um, I would buy this in the cafeteria just because my friends like it a lot um, I remember also going to the Masankai supermarket a supermarket near me and I think I would buy this for a few months and then I got over it and went back to either pillows or the french fry thing that tastes like tomatoes I don't I forgot what I'm that's all what's the name but it's like this big yeah, but uh, okay, anyway, let's. The next one is curry. They don't have the actual name of the curry, but I think this is the curry or curry. 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 Ooh, the crunching and the munching up. Wishy and curry never stops. Curry. <laughs> okay, they have something, something, something. Shrimp flakes. Okay, this is called shrimp flakes. Okay, let's have a try. E. Packaging's the same, but more of a Chinese name shrimp. Mm. One more. Mm. I'm hungry. Don't judge. Okay. Mm. Again, uh, this curry is super, super bland compared to what we have in the Philippines. Um, the curry that I remember is a little bit salty, right? But this curry, it doesn't really taste salty. I can taste the shrimp-like flavor and I can smell it. And just the saltiness is not there. I remember buying this because I wanted something salty. But uh, I don't know. I feel like Chinese people, they don't really like too much salt or too much sweetness. They kind of like their flavors just right. I have two more. This is the last two. Um, next one is the onion rings. Uh, onion rings. I don't remember if we have this, but I think we do. You ready? Uh, Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my god, stop fucking lying. I just don't remember that well. <laughs> I think we do. We do have this onion rings, but I think it's not as popular as the others. I'm not quite sure. Please comment down below if you know that we have this or if we don't. I'm so sorry for including this in our video. Okay. Uh, anyway, on your rings. Oh, okay. They're hard open. Okay. Oh, on your rings. Okay. Last one. Um, I think I do remember we have onion rings. Um, Lion over. Um, yeah. Um, I can taste the onions. The onion flavor is very, very strong. Uh, but I do remember that 
this in the Philippines is also very salty. Uh, this doesn't really have salt in it, but it's just onion. Yeah, this onion flavor. Uh, it doesn't smell like onion flavor, but you can taste it. The onion flavor is really strong, but it doesn't really have saltiness in it. Mm, I don't like this because I don't like eating onions at all. Okay, uh, last one. Potato stick snack reminds me of my favorite snack in the Philippines that is also Obishi, the potato french fry thing. But it's not it, but I feel like it's kind of like a Chinese version of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Also the same flavor, it has tomato flavor and potato sticks. Okay, it's called potato sticks. Okay, it's not the same as uh, same packaging as what I know in the Philippines. But let's find out. Okay, um, okay. The french fries is smaller than what I am used to. I'm used to like a very thick um, french fry. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is definitely it. Yeah, the potato stick. Mm. Same flavor. Same flavor. Same taste. Um, um, same flavor of same amount of flavor of the tomatoes. Same amount of the saltiness. Yeah, I think that's all. That's all the snacks that I have. The Chinese version of the Filipino snacks. Um, my overall favorite is um, I think what comes close to like the Filipino version of this is um, this one. The potato sticks, even though it's not the same packaging as what I know, uh, but it's the same flavor, has the same level of saltiness, um, and yeah, it's very good. Uh, but this is not what I really like though. Um, what I really like is the pillows. Because it's my all-time favorite and I really couldn't get enough of the pillows. Uh, because even though that it's not as sweet as what I have in the Philippines or what we have in the Philippines, uh, it's the same pillows. Um, even when I bite into it, there's still that chocolate that I can get from inside. So I really like this one, uh, but it has different uh, level of sweetness. Um, what I don't like is this. Not because I don't like onions, I do. I don't really like onions that much. But um, it's just because the onion flavor is really strong and it doesn't really have any saltiness to it. I wouldn't uh, eat this again. So I'm, this is going to go to the trash. Okay. Um, so that is all. So if ever you're in China and you're craving for Filipino snacks, do look for these snacks in the supermarket. I know uh, at times they're... Okay, oh, I forgot. There's one more. <laughs> the Wishy Prawn Crackers. Hey, okay. The original. Hey, okay. Hey, okay. So let's go ahead and try. Same packaging, but have Chinese uh, stuff here. This is also my mom's favorite. Yeah, this is also my mom's favorite. I didn't really like this Alicia very much, uh, this particular uh, snack. Just because, I don't know, I just didn't really like this. Mm. Mm. So again, kinda like the same with the others. It's kinda bland compared with what we have in the Philippines. I feel like the Philippine snacks, they are like two. Two flavors. Please don't judge me if I get it wrong. Um, I feel like the snacks in the Philippines are either very salty or sweet. Like it can go other way, but you know, it, that's what we are. We are very extreme. Like it, it's really sweet or it's really salty. So I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's actually what I like in a snack. You know, when I'm craving for something salty, I want to actually taste the salt. If I want something sweet, I want to taste sweetness, you know? Uh, so if you're a Filipino and you're in China and you're looking for some snacks that makes you feel like you're at home, do look for these snacks in your supermarket. I do believe at least they have this. Um, they do have this a lot in almost all the supermarket. Um, the others are quite hard to see. You can almost see any of them in any big supermarkets. The small supermarkets will probably just have this. Big supermarkets will probably have everything. Okay, that is all. Um, please comment down below what is your favorite snack in the Philippines and comment down below what snack do you think I should find in China, okay? So that is all. I'm going to go ahead and devour all these snacks before I go to bed. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I did find a snack that is not a Filipino snack, but an American snack that is called a trolley. Okay, this is very hard to find. I think I found this in a city. Anyway, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.